No, it's not. It's not. No, there it is. Not. Okay, there it goes. Okay. Ah, oh, there I see. Okay. Um, so, I mean, you know, I, I've obviously, um, I've been trying to run on all different fronts with no real budget in place or anything to get this stuff up and running. And as Natalie can tell you, and Glynis, uh, when she shows up, especially, um, it's been very difficult uh, to get some of these things to work uh, as quickly as we'd like, but it's getting there. Um, and, you know, Dennis has co-opted his company's designer. He's done some tremendous work, I think. Uh, so, yeah, if we could just go around the room quick and just hear from people what it is. A couple of sentences really clearly. Just what it is you would most, what, what is the most important thing to you right now going forward to work together on like once a week on these calls? What is it you would want to get out of it? Well, let me say, if I continue, it's just to remain up, up to speed on all the creativity things. Because I talked to Michael yesterday, I've been quite busy and still busy with court cases. And then there is no time in your mind for thinking creatively. It's just nitty gritty looking at those letters. Okay, great. So you and want to stay in the conversation? Huh? You want to keep the conversation going. You want to stay in the conversation. Have a time yes. each week when you when you get a chance to talk about this stuff so you don't lose track of it. Yes, that's what I, we discussed yesterday. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Got it. Come on, guys, dive in. So I can go next. My answer to you is I don't know yet. Okay. Uh, I'm not yet sure how I'm going to be using this in the real world. Um, I, too, would like to keep into the conversation when I can. Um, I'm not, I can't see at the moment that it's going to be a main focus for me, but I do still want to stay in the conversation. Okay, so kind of like Carlos. Yeah. Yeah, um, my, my conversation is slightly different. I'm not yet sure how I'm going to use it. Right. So I'm not going to jump into the realms of being a creativity coach. Right. But use the techniques within my bigger sphere, yes. Just not yet sure how. Got it. Okay. Um, for me, um, I'm getting my registration together. So my focus is to make sure that I can register as a life coach and creativity coach um, and utilize it. Um, so that's my focus at the moment and making sure that we can see how we can work together on synergies. I love that we're getting a tour of, of, of Amsterdam. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I have been in Amsterdam for like eight years. It's fantastic. Um, Okay, so I mean, the, the first part, you know, obviously doesn't have much to do with this conversation in terms of the this group, right? Um, but the second part would then, exploring how we can work together with various people. Um, yeah. Got it, okay. Keep going. Okay, yeah, I will. Good. Yeah. Oh. No, go ahead, Stephanie, then Anita. Okay, first me and then Anita. Yes, please. Okay, so um, four things. Okay, is being part of a group to make a change in people's lives first. Um, and then um, I would really would like to do my NLP coaching course. Um, I feel I lack in that department, so I really have to do that course. But the next four months, I have to do my teaching practicals and exams. So it's going to be a bit hectic, but I can do it. And then new things up, um, there is um, this empowerment art group sessions for ladies that's popped up this week. So everybody phoned me and said, please teach us art classes, but yet also in a group way, life coaching sets up. So I'm meeting up with people this uh, weekend. So yeah, to, to uh, speak about that. So that's my four things. There you go. Okay, cool. So what, uh, Stephanie, what I'm trying to get at though, on top of you sharing those things. What about this group 
would you like to get out of the process of being on this call today, on this call next week, and so on? Okay, well, uh, to be part of the group, but yet also to improve my life coaching skills and um, to uh, make money. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Cool. The numbers are dwindling. Who's up? <laughs> well, they're quiet. Um, I, yeah, I'm a bit like Carlos and um, Leslie with the, this, why I want to get out of this is to keep up to date with everybody. Um, but yeah, also to see where things progress and where I can fit in, where I can help. Um, to, but yeah, mainly just to keep, keep up to speed and also keep encouraged myself to keep on going and just hearing conversations to spark new ideas maybe as well so yeah got it got it so staying staying engaged in the conversation and, and being connected to people okay cool da -da -da -da. For me, I think it's a collaboration, Michael. Um, since I haven't got my own coaching business up and running yet, uh, like people of Leslie's stature has, this is nice for me to incorporate everything. And then with the abundance coming in, I think it needs to be a holistic approach to anybody that we approach to sell to. So you can then divert um, into abundance and into NLP life coaching if you need it to be. Okay. So being on this group, I want to keep you guys laser focused on this conversation that I'm trying to introduce here, right? Some of you guys are nailing it and some of you guys are kind of going all over the place, right? So this group that meets once a week, not the Thursday event, not other things we might do, this group, what do you want to get out of this, Natalie? Grow in creativity. Add more to the toolbox. Okay. And like earlier today, you were talking about money. Um, we, of course, we all we all need money, and this is a this is a, a course that's now being put together really nicely. And if you can sell it, why not? That's fantastic. And I think that's, that's part of the process. We have to sell it to actually offer the other services, the other life coaching, um, the other coaching things that would go with that. Right. Okay, we only got Dennis, Nikki, and Marina left, I think. Is that right? Yeah. Dennis is lurking, waiting for the end, isn't he? Nikki is ready to speak. I'm ready to speak. Um, after Good afternoon, everyone. Michael, from my side, um, very similar to um, Carlos, Anita, Leslie, um, is to say that I'd like to keep relevant and um, stay engaged. In terms of how I'll be utilizing this, I still haven't figured that part out as yet. Mm -hmm. That's cool. So, so there's a lot of Kind of engagement right being engaged as a group um, everybody wants to kind of either be engaged because there's a specific idea you have in mind or be engaged because you're not sure what that idea is and you want to figure it out yeah is that fairly accurate um, and then only a couple of people have mentioned that they want to use this group to actually earn money uh, which is Natalie and Stephanie nobody else has actually said that Right. Um, which is fine. I, I just want to be clear on what people want so that we can, you know, make sure that people get it. Marina, Dennis has Anita's already got something to say. Yeah, Anita. Sorry, I think, well, I'll talk to, on behalf of myself, but I think maybe for everyone that money is maybe ultimately what we're all hoping to gain out of it, but initially, like the conversations and the ideas need to come about for that process of, of like forming a company, forming a business. We're working together to to all grow and go on this journey in whichever direction it's going. And um, some people going in different directions, but hopefully that we're all going to help each other to get to that point of where this is obviously, uh, yeah, but somewhere you're going to earn something from it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, 
yeah, so I, uh, for me, anyway, it's not something that I put on the list of I'm coming to this group to make money, but it is one of the things that would be on the ultimate goals. Yeah. She wants to get clients, hence money, okay? I lo I'm loving Ingrid's whole thing going on here with the picture of Amsterdam. It's good. Um, Marina, are you there? Yes, I'm surprised I am, Michael. How are you? I'm great. Good. Okay. Um, just some good news. I've qualified. I got my certificate yesterday. Um, now, at last, <laughs> it took a while. Um, what, as you know, when I initiated this conversation, my thinking was, you know, collaborate, making it more than what it is at the moment, you know, um, really, really big thinking. Um, what it is turned into is, uh, something that doesn't really align with that thinking that I had. So, so I am struggling to, um, you know, feel part of this at the moment. I, I, I am like on Leslie's page, just, just listening in so that I can make an informed decision how I would use this. Um, I have started to apply some of the techniques um, in... With, with, with one of my coaching clients that I have now, um, you know, started afresh. Uh, I don't have an established coaching business uh, also also as, as um, I don't know who, who said that, Nat Natalie, you said that. And of course, we all need money. So um, I don't know if I, I'm, I'm answering your, your questions either in terms of what you were expecting uh, I was not at the beginning of the call on. I was like five minutes late. Apologies for that. So essentially, how can I use this certification uh, for the greater good, but but really, you know, start something that will 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 be on a, a very large scale, and that 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 is bigger than. Than, than, than what I'm seeing at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, okay, cool. No, that, that definitely answers the question. Thank you. Dennis, you're the only one left. Um, Michael, for me, it's um, staying ab abreast with what's going on. Um, collaborate where I can with, with, the, with the many projects and um, what we are planning to move forward. <clears throat> and I've also, currently, I've got three individuals that I'm taking through the, the core. Ach, the creative coaching and two teams. So um, I'm applying um, and learning as I go along and making notes so that we have a coaching process for, for teams moving forward as well. Um, so that's why I'm here, grow knowledge and collaborate. Gotcha. All right, so let me, let me um, I acknowledge Ingrid that you put that message on there about uh, uh, about uh, corporates and so on. So what has become very clear as we've developed the website to try to get the web page up, which is taking absurdly long because we're doing it uh, the way we're doing it, um, but it's getting very close uh, to being up. So I've had to just let that kind of take its course. Um, you know, there's three places that this particular s system that we are working with is is functioning right now at this moment right one is for individuals who either want to go through the training or the coaching one is for teams or companies same thing and third is for coaches right like ourselves those are the three ways that this stuff can get delivered and on the website it's going to be fairly clear you know these are the three options right um to try to drive attention and, you know, get, and basically like when we started this process a couple months back, when you guys started, it was just like Dean and I said, let's, let's do a certification course for creativity coaching. Fantastic. Let's do it. You know, there wasn't a lot of clarity as to that a bunch of people that on the course would start saying, let's, you know, where are we going to, how are we going to 
implement this and people don't understand why it's important and all that. So for me, it's been tremendous that you guys are so excited to be engaged and go forward with that stuff. Um, I've tried to put together a plan that makes sense based on the research I've done and what I've looked at in terms of how we can structure something that puts people, you know, putting skin in the game to be committed while at the same time allowing you to have the opportunity to actually make money off of this process rather than have to pay for it, right? That was the idea that I've tried to put in place. Anitha um, is among the people who have already committed for a year to this process, but she also called my attention to the fact that maybe we aren't giving enough empowerment to you guys to be able to go out and, and, and sell stuff. Um, so what we've been working on also at the same time on five tracks is these Thursday events are designed for us to attract people who are interested in this topic, whether they are already coaches or whether they are in the creativity or innovation industries, or they're just interested in it and do it in a really relaxed and easy way because it's not these webinars that have a, you know, kind of every week is like a thing, right? We're trying to make it very simple. So you invite someone once, they register once, and every week they'll get a notice that reminding them to come to the thing. And it's really half, half just a hangout event, get to know each other, hang around each other. And it, I think it can build much easier that way. And it'll give us, you know, the brand of innovativity is, is constantly being pushed there, but we're relying on other people outside of us to come with the content. And that does a lot of good because all those people are then forever kind of connected to us, right? So for this month, um, we've got four, well, three committed. Uh, fourth one, I still have to get clear from her or Natalie will get clear from her, one of us. Um, but it's really great people with really great topics to talk about and really great networks. So the idea is of course, to get them to, once they come to like it and then come back even when they're not talking. Um, Natalie, do you wanna just give a little bit of input about the events? Sure, you should have an email in your inbox um, already, guys. We have called the, let me actually just get some information up. Give me a moment. So instead of calling it a just a, a, a webinar on a Thursday, we've actually changed the name completely. And we're now calling it, come on. We're now calling it a networking, innovativity, networking think tank, think tanks, thanks. And it's creativity and innovation at work. Um, so what we're going to have, have is we're going to have um, three quarters of an hour a presentation by a guest speaker. Then we're going to have breakout rooms where you can actually discuss the presentation with your peers and see how they feel and bring questions and answers to that then you're going to have the opportunity to do a short elevator, elevator pitch for yourself. And then Michael will finish yourself and round it off. So that's where we're going from this coming Thursday. We're also putting out a flyer, which you can use to invite people to that. So you can put it onto your social media pages. Um, I see Michael has brought it up, the one up, there's a slight change that needs to happen, but you can then use people to come into that and use that as um, a hook to get them onto the course. So it's falling, it's starting to fall into place to get people on board to actually buy into the creativity coaching course for themselves or for corporate. I think that's it, Michael. Yeah, okay. Um, so basically, the point is to blast it out to whoever you think would enjoy being around us. And if you have potential clients, whether it's to sell the package or to sell coaching to or whatever, you know, have them come. Because it's just a it's just a being cool thing, right? I found that I don't know, have you guys been on any of the networking stuff that's been going on during lockdown? Anybody? No, yes, no. So I've been in a lot of uh, several different networking events and they're really quite cool because people come just looking forward to being there. There's not like any expectation or any heaviness, you know? And because of the structure of it, 
the actual presentation can be recorded and 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 you know shared uh, on a platform. We can make a YouTube channel that just has those presentations, and the rest of the event, of course, wouldn't need to be recorded because it's only for those who are there. But the presentation itself will be recorded, and because it's short, you know, 20, 30 minutes, um, it, 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 it's something that people might even watch, uh, and the people who do the presentation might use it. Uh, you know, so it gives us an opportunity to continually build. Right? So the idea is to invite people to that. The second element is um, that Natasha is going to start making a newsletter uh, probably next month. And that would then be going out to the mailing list, but also on LinkedIn. All right. So the idea here is really just to build a presence over the next, say, six months into the beginning of next year, where we're building a list we're building a, you know, people's uh, awareness of that there's this group of people here that are certified creativity coaches. And basically, you know, the point of that is to create more and more opportunity that might happen, whether it's individuals or companies or more coaches. The way that you guys can benefit directly from that is pretty straightforward, right? Which is, Sell, sell the product or service to those people or benefit from being part of the process and, and, and gaining knowledge or both, right? But for those that do feel they need to get money, you know, getting corporate clients is not necessarily something that's going to happen in two weeks um, or even two months. You know, uh, right now it's it's slippery. I mean, I've been on phone calls with a lot of very established companies who are doing innovation training and, and stuff like that, and they're struggling right now because if they don't already have a client, getting new clients is very tricky. Um, Dennis and I have been talking to uh, one organization that is in South Africa, but they also have numerous other locations, and they provide training and change management services and so forth to companies. So they may, they're thinking about it, they may do a training with us, small group, like 15 people. Um, and then if they like it, then they'll get their other offices to do it. And if they all like it, then their whole network will offer it for us. You know, We would deliver it, they would basically take a cut. That's what would happen. Um, so we're trying to grow that opportunity out. And like we've discussed with companies, you know, I've also got um, Rapalong uh, Rabana, who some of you might know of. She has a bank that she's trying to convince to do this instead of design thinking. All the big banks are doing design thinking with the person who used to run Henley's program. Um, this particular bank uh, is considering, because they're her client, doing ours, and that would be 600 people. That would be a lot of money and a lot of work, right? Um, so all those things are in play, but to get them to work, I'm trying to get the website to work uh, because we need that to work. You know, we're trying to get all the different systems. We're also building a five or six page flyer in three different forms. Again, individuals, companies, coaches. Each of them will have basically the same information, but presented to a different audience, right? And each of them will refer to the other two options just so it's there. All of them will probably get this page that is on the screen now at the back of it so that there's an info pack mm. that you can basically give to anyone that will tell them exactly what to do. Now, Natalie had a great suggestion earlier today, which is that the normal link that we would put on the PDF package, whoever is, you know, a member in this organization you can we can leave a blank there and you can put directly your affiliate link that's not going to matter very much for co companies right but for individuals and the coaches thing it it could matter a lot because then you're able to give them the flyer with your direct link but my suggestion was because how many of you have done the affiliate registration already i mean i know leslie definitely has mm -hmm. uh dennis natalie so if you haven't done it you know, you need to do it so that you can actually get affiliate stuff to happen, right? Mm -hmm. The way that the affiliate program works on Teachable, as far as I understand from looking at it, is that each school um, has its own registration. Leslie, you'll correct me if I'm wrong, please. 
Um, so I think if, for example, in the future, we were to move the course into the Innativity Institute school, you would have to register again into a new affiliate link. But we'll worry about that when we get to that bridge, right? For now, the thing to do would be to register your affiliate link. And if you want, on this call, I can show you how to do it so that those of you who haven't done it can see how to do it. And then you can even do it now when I show you. The second thing to do is to then register a small link to your affiliate link, right? A bit ly or a, uh, I think it's t.ly is a new one they have, but the bit.ly one is, is more established and it's free. The other one I think you might have to pay for at some point. Um, so the bit.ly address that we always use for everything because it allows you to create your own link. So you could make bit.ly Leslie creativity, right? The chances are no one in the world has done that. So that link would take straight to your affiliate link. And you could do one for each of the three different affiliate links that take you directly to the courses. Because if you're not careful, the affiliate link will take you to Action Factory. But if you do the right affiliate link, it will take you directly to the specific course. Yeah. And you know, if you're, if you're trying to sell a course to somebody and you send them to Action Factory generally, they'll get confused immediately and start going, I don't understand what's going on, right? Um, so what we're trying to do is to create, well, what we are doing is to create, and it seems like most of this will be functional this week, is to create enough materials that make it easy for you to sell if that's what you want to do. Right? The reason I've structured the way I have after a lot of research and thinking in terms of people that want to be on this process on the Tuesdays or whatever day we choose it to be, you know, I've made it a little bit expensive compared to what you might hope. And some people are dealing with that by doing a whole lot of work, right? But I'm giving, you know, we're giving a free course to sell, which is worth twice as much as the fee to be on this. And my thinking there was really clear. It's we've got to move stuff through the system. We can't play this game of being in South Africa and saying, oh, we don't have anything. And that. You know, there, I was on a call with people in New York who really like what we're doing and felt like uh, the $350 that the coaching course is now going for is about 10% of what it should go for. And they said in the United States or in England, we should be able to sell it for $3,000, not $300. The exact same course. Uh, that was their take on it, right? So the price that it's going at now is, is like a giveaway. And it's unfortunate in the sense that that means you earn less. We earn less every time we sell one, right? But if we reach out to the world and not just think of small areas that we're dealing with in our little networks in South Africa, it's a very reasonable price for people around the world. Now we're in the middle of COVID. <laughs> Some people are struggling, others are not. You know, there, there's an organization in the States that I was involved with um, right at the beginning of lockdown, they did a 30 day run of, of events every day. They're making millions of dollars doing exactly this kind of stuff, training, coaching, teaching, right? They're making more money now than they made last year. There are people out there that are willing to put money down if we phrase it the right way and pitch it the right way. So what we're really aiming to do and trying to do it as fast as possible is put together brochures that you can use, put together a web page that's working, put together these events so that on the Thursdays we're attracting people, right? And the more that everybody who's part of this participates in being part of that, the more everybody is going to get a stronger brand. And that's why we had the conversations the last couple of weeks about branding yourself and the clarity of your brand, right? So even on the, on the, on the coaches listing on the site we're putting up, you know, once it's up, we want to put those three words or that one word, really put it in there somehow into your listing, right? Make it clear who you are in this group. Does that make sense to everybody? So, we have to pull together in a lot of ways. And then when it comes down to selling, you need to pull your own, you know, sale so that you get actually in the end of the day, more than Dion or I get out of that sale actually. <laughs> so um, 
that that's basically the question right now is what are the things I can do on this call? You know, unfortunately, I was hoping the flyers and the website and all that would be ready right now, but they will be ready this week. And this flyer here that you're seeing on the screen, which I'll take off for now, uh, will be ready like tonight, I think. Um, so, you know, all of you can have that and use it to send out to get people to come. You know, once those people come that you bring to the thing, you're going to be the one that's going to sell to them if they want to buy some, if they want to buy the course or you want to coach them, right? It's going to be you. So you want to continue that relationship. Now, there's this woman in Australia who does, um, her, her name is uh, Celeste, and she does these networking events. I've been on two of them so far. She's unbelievable. After the event, she calls every person on, well, not calls, but sends a voice note. She sent me a voice note both times, thanking me for coming and all that. Um, but, you know, she only had like 30 people. It's not a big thing. But because they're 30 very engaged people, it's a really pleasant experience and it becomes something that I've already become first level LinkedIn, you know, connections with a lot of those people that were on those two calls. Because in that call you get to, it's, it's not a huge group, right? So that's the idea. So before I get into any uh, more detail about maybe taking you through any processes or anything, is there any questions or any concerns or anything you'd like to raise or suggestions? And Ingrid's here twice now. My gosh, I thought she was leaving early. Now she's here twice. Um, yeah, I, th I think, Michael, I love the idea. I love the direction that this is going. I think the key thing, though, is results. Um, yeah. We're not going to sell this without results. We've got to get testimonials and result packages from the existing students and get them all up onto the site and maybe even use commentary out of the surveys um, from our clients, et cetera, et cetera, and get that onto the site. You've got to prove credibility. Um, $300 is only kind of getting us into the market to get credibility. I mean, we're trying to build brand awareness. We're trying to build... Uh, at credibility and brand awareness, and that's where we've got to start. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, so to be clear, Leslie, there's two things I want to say regarding that because you're absolutely like 100% right. The issue right now is simply getting the site to work, uh, yeah. and I don't even want to get into what the what has gone on there. <laughs> I, I don't know. The, unfortunately, Glynis has a Wi-Fi is still not on her new house. Otherwise, she would explain this. But it will be up and running in the next few days. Um, there's piles of testimonials. The flyer we're making already has many testimonials that precede you guys. It's also got a couple of quotes from coaches on this group. But I mean, also guys, we have to, we have to, you know, I can't pull all this on my own. I'm actually having repeated, repeated moments of near nervous breakdown. Um, that if it wasn't for my training and, 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 and some people who have been very supportive, I probably would like have collapsed and be in hospital trying to run on all these different, you know. So if Natalie reaches out and says, please send her a video testimonial and nobody does it, you know, it becomes difficult. Um, it, it, I've, tr I've tried to find the people who are able to pull some weight so that we can pull faster. Yeah. Um, and those who aren't those people really need to support those people. Because so far it's, it's, it's you know, um, we've, I think people are working very, some people are working very hard to try to pull that weight. And, and when others don't respond, then they end up frustrated. Does that make sense? Yeah, but I would just go and say that when you're reaching out to, to people, um, ask them for something and tell them what it's for. It might just help to get what you're looking for. It's very possible. I mean, uh, I'm specifically thinking about Natalie and Dennis mostly right now, right? Uh, so they can, they, can, they can say what they think about that. Uh, because I, I think it was clear, but maybe it wasn't. I don't know. But the point is this. I mean, what you're saying is absolutely 100% on point. The question is, and I think this is one of the things that, you know, uh, we're going to look at maybe next week is what are the things that need to happen and what things can people do that can help? Right. Because I, I honestly like, I mean, I'm being really honest about it. I don't know how Dion manages to run like six different types of coaching. 
Leslie, you probably know better than any of us, but, uh, you know, trying to get, I've been going through the videos to re-edit them so that the glitches in them, and especially the out of sync, which is very bad, um, is getting fixed. So I'm already through four weeks out of the seven. Um, not all of them are uploaded yet, because that's a whole process, but, but by the next few days, all of those will have been replaced with everything being in sync, the sound balance being better, the music not being overwhelming. You know, there's still glitches and things and there's still like some of the, some of the videos are better than others, but they're, they're, they're suitable, right? So within a few days, and one of the reasons I've, I've been aggressively doing that is, the, is this bank thing, because I don't want to lose a 600 person bank client because they think it's not, the videos aren't good enough. So two people from the bank are going to buy the course and then see if they like it. If they like it, you might have a 600 client bank, which would be great. <laughs> but, um, but so there's absolutely with you, but I think we have to find out. That's why I've been trying to get a commitment from people to be part of the process in whatever way they can clarity. So if people can't afford the fee to be part of the process, which is there for a reason, you know, there's two ways to handle it. One is to do work to cover that. The other is, to sell the course that is part of that for free, that then makes you a profit. So, yeah. So, does that respond to what you're saying? The, 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 the important part is that we, we're, we're trying not to impose on, on y'all. At the same time, we're trying to get everybody in motion so we can work together as best as possible and find the fair way to do it that's equitable for everybody. Yeah. Uh, Michael, just my response to that is, I'm in a position I cannot commit the amount of time that Dennis and Natalie are, but if somebody dropped in the group, hey guys, we need help with this, this, and this, can anybody help? Um, and on those kind of basis, we can help. Um, you know, we, we're unaware that you guys need help because the request for help is not coming through the group. Is it not? Well, I haven't yes. seen... It has been, Leslie, we, we did when we got this all started. And maybe it's just that everybody has, has fallen quiet. We've now also made it an admin site. So it, those requests might have got lost in all the, the bumps yes. that was. So now it's just an admin site and we'll try it again. Hey, Dennis. Yeah. Reach out to me, guys. If you need help, reach out to me. I can either say yes or no, depending yeah. on my capacity at the time. Got you. So, so what I'm trying to set up is this, right? That this group here is going to be a small enough group that we can work together, but also a committed group of people that are willing to, you know, do their best to bring in that one sale a month that's going to make you a profit. And above that, whatever you want to do, right? But we are trying, by all means right now, you know, I'm going without sleep most of the time so that we can, you know, others are too, <laughs> so that we can provide you with materials that will help that happen, right? And up the game on the, on the course itself. Um, but all of these pieces, you know, the more that you can, I mean, one of the things Dennis talked about is creating like a, almost like a protocol. So like on a Monday, we put out an announcement for the Thursday and on the Monday, you all look for it on LinkedIn and send it to your network, you know, that kind of thing, right? So it's easy for people to do it automated almost. So you know on a Monday, you take 15 minutes and it's finished. The power of, you know, if everybody goes to the post that we put up and everybody comments on it, it causes more people to see it. Like we can, as a group, make the voice louder by, by being systematic and, and, and communal about it, right? Literally, if, if I put up a post for myself in a TV Institute or whatever, or if Natalie puts up a post for that event, more people by far will see it if all of us do it, but it has to be in the first couple of hours. And I've been learning all these things about how LinkedIn works, and it's like a whole <laughs> world there. So that's, that's, that's the basic point, right, is to, is to give you guys all of that material that you can work with. And then how can... I, how can we help people be able to sell? What are the, what are the suggestions we can make? What are the uh, coaching we can offer? 
you know, what are the objections you have? Where are you stuck? All of that is part of what I'd be happy to do as best I can to give that because it's, I have been spending the last two years nonstop figuring out how this works, selling this kind of product and dealing with this kind of concept. So, you know, Dion has that course about online coaching, which is useful if you haven't been on it. But this is an engagement we can have on a regular basis to look at where are you stuck? What are you struggling with? How can it help? Are you having trouble selling the course? Are you selling the course well, but you can't get coaching clients off of it? You know, all of those things we can deal with. The first step is making sure you're actually registered. Get 30% of the price into your pocket, right? If you're not, then it's a mess. So are there any, before I go on, are there any thoughts or comments about that all? Yes, I have some ge one general comment. You were just yeah. mentioning that you're going to invite speakers yeah. every, every Thursday. Well, just to remind you, that's, that's how, this is the way I got involved in this, in this club. You give a um, presentation on the ADR register. I put the link, yeah. I just put it again. Yes. In fact, I'm a mediator, a negotiator. Mm -hmm. uh, they were um, organizing this um, inviting speakers. And how that's how I got in touch with you and uh, Dion. And you were mentioning about the creativity course and I was curious and I went for it. So this is a sideline of what my initial goal was. Yes, my initial goal was just to keep abreast with the mediators. And then I, I heard your talk and the young talk. I said, ah, that's, that's interesting. And I went for it. So maybe when you're, when you're going to invite speakers and they were going to present something else again, you will have that people from your group will be interested in something else. And then, well, there is, there is one that's your main business or main interest, and then you get something else. Yeah. So I went through the whole um, mediator certification thing and the registered on the ADR, and then I got in touch with this creativity thing. And out of curiosity, I went for it. And we're yes. very happy you did, Carlos. <laughs> yes, and that's, that's where I am at the moment. Yes, that's yeah, right. That's fantastic. And I mean, you're only on the call today because we spoke yesterday. You wouldn't have been here otherwise, right? Yes. Th that's the thing, guys, is, you know, and, and whoever's not on this call right now but wants to be part of this, they can watch this recording. The point is, the more people you get to come to these events, the more people you communicate about what's going on, the cooler we all look, all of us, right? Yeah. And, and the more we get, you know, let's be talking about practical um, things. I mean, that's why these events to me are, it's very much a practical step. We're not just saying, we're not just saying, you know, uh, here's a flyer. We're also saying, like, here's an event. We're going to make this event happen. You know, Natalie's working very hard to, to increase the quality of it all the time. You know, I'm, I'm reaching out to my network to find the most interesting people that are connected to creative thinking and, and stuff. So, you know, it's a practical step for us to get that, to make that work. And making that work involves two things, getting the word out as widely as you can and showing up and being part of it. Maybe you can get you can get in touch with the ADR group to see how they are doing it. Yes, because they are now worldwide and inviting people for talks like you and Dion. Yeah. And that's how I got in touch with you. So maybe yeah. they can get some ideas how to expand this. Well, Carlos, why don't you do that? Okay. <laughs> You see, I literally, I, literally work. <laughs> I literally sit at my computer like 12 to 14 hours a day right now mm -hmm. working on solely on this. Okay. I mean, yeah, maybe a little bit here and there, other stuff. But so like I have not even managed to write notes to people that I want to write notes to to tell them about this event. Right? I'm going to blast out a WhatsApp to everybody. Uh, tomorrow, I'm not going to even use the flyer because people see the flyer and they get like, oh God, the flyer. But when you put like a very short text and they read it. So, um, yeah, I mean, all of these are great ideas and it's exactly the question is, how can you guys 
find your niche that goes along with your brand? How can you go into Facebook or LinkedIn or these places and find new people? You know, if when we started that Facebook group, which we haven't used yet, I managed to pull in about six or eight existing creativity coaches just by going on Twitter and looking for creativity coaches as an exercise in Dion's class. So what we need to do is coordinate this so we don't collide and go into the same groups and the same people and stuff, right? But, but you can literally go out and reach out and start making communication and contacts with those people. And I, I find that regardless of whether I ever get money out of these people or anything, just making those contacts and those interactions with the right people really helps, you know, up my presence, my game, who I am for people. It's made it easier to call up and say, I want to speak at some event and they go, sure, because, you know, I've spoken to like lots of people they know. You know, one of the things we talked about doing, which we should do, and I want to make sure I do it for this group for sure, is that all of us go onto each other's LinkedIn profiles and recommend each other. You know, if you go into someone's LinkedIn profile and look at it carefully because you really want to give them money and you see that they've got 20 recommendations, it really looks good. You know, um, when they've got none, it doesn't look so good. And even those, those uh, you know, the, the skills, when you have 99 plus people that have recommended you for the skills, as opposed to three, you know? And this only matters when people really look at your profile. But they really look at your profile if they're gonna spend money with you a lot of the time. Or if they're really interested in what we're doing and they want to engage with who you are. So that's why we spent time the last couple of weeks also looking at our profiles and how do we make them more exciting. So the first question I want to deal with is, do you guys want to walk through the process of registering on the uh, affiliate program? Those of you who have not done it, do you want me to walk you through that quickly? Yes? Do those of you who have been, have done it already, do you mind us doing that? I'm just wondering if I can take up more affiliates at the moment. If you can do what? Take up more uh, affiliates at the moment. Because you want to what? If I will have the time to be affiliated to more organizations at the moment. So I am uh, yeah. an affiliate of the EDR that I just showed you the link. We yeah. have the organization here on Curacao. That's, I'm the one that's pulling it and trying to, to make it work here in Curacao for, for the mediation. So I did this more of, out of curiosity. Yeah, well, here you are, Carlos. Stay, stay curious. Uh -huh. My recommendation, sign up for the affiliate program and then see what happens in the, in the process. I mean, all you have to do is sell one and you made profit. Okay. You don't have to make it your career to try to sell courses. Okay. Yeah. You know? Um, what, yeah, I mean, it's, it's up to you, obviously. Uh, let me just call this up. Salima has confirmed, Natalie. You're supposed to say yay. I'm enthusiastic. Yay! <laughs> Salima Bahani, guys, she's going to speak at the fourth event this month. Yes. This is her. She's launching her book, which is remarkably similar to what we do. Mm. Uh, I had a meeting with her last week and we seem to have a lot of very similar things going on. Uh, so yeah, so she'll be speaking at the fourth event. She's in DC, Washington, DC. Uh, okay, so let me go to, if you go to Action Factory, dot teachable, right? I'm already registered into here. So what I'm gonna do is start from scratch using a new email address so you guys can see. If I log out of Teachable entirely. Okay, so if you go to actionfactory.teachable.com, you can also just go straight to Teachable, doesn't matter, it's the same thing. If I say sign up, and you guys can do this as we're sitting here, if you want. 
Literally, you can sign up to that school, okay? You might have to repeat this, as I mentioned, you might have to repeat this a month or two from now with our own school, depending how things work and structure. But for now, just, just using this because it's already there and I'm gonna sign up using, uh, I have to use one that I know is not used here yet. Okay, so then I have to put in a password which I will put in. Uh, I agree to the terms of use. Sign up to action And now it's put me straight in. Didn't even send me a mail. Okay, so I'm now inside of Action Factory. And you can see that there's a number of different courses that Action Factory is offering. Three of them are our courses. Okay. okay. Is Life Coaching Guide Introduction to Innovation? So we have the introductory course. This is the one week course, for $29. However, this is the one that I will gladly give you a code that gets people in for free if you want to seduce them. Because that $29 ain't gonna make you much or me much. That's what, did, that's what we did in the beginning. That's correct? Say again? This is what we did in the beginning. We got a link to send the people. Correct. To type to try to persuade them, yes. Correct, and actually that same link should still work. But okay. I'm absolutely happy to be clear for you to use that to whoever you think will actually be interested. Mm -hmm. And then you've got- This the is the full course, the full, the full eight weeks. Mm -hmm. And this is the Creativity Coach course, which is now at $400, but there's a code for $50 off, which again, you can give to anybody you want. If you come across people who want to do the coaching course, as opposed to just the training, the way this now works is that this course is, uh, when you buy this course inside, it gives you a code to get this one for free. So rather than bundle it and make it complicated, we simply said, if you buy this course, you then get access to this one. Okay. Um, we're still building this out, but there's enough in it to keep them busy for now. Uh, so you'll see if you get 30% for yourself that this at full price, you're going to get $130, which is at this point about two grand, roughly. So every person you get into this course, you're getting two grand. If you got one person a week in there, that's eight grand extra that you get. Plus, you know, uh, you might less likely here, but on this one here, you can provide them with coaching on the back of it, which is the real idea, right? So this, you get a little bit less cash, but you then can coach them afterwards. Um, I want you guys to also know, just in case you are aware of anybody, I am going, I've been going out in conversations, but it's going to become more aggressive in the next week or two. I'm looking for about 12 people who want to pay $3,200 for the same course that is going for $350. But they're going to get uh, a mastermind like this uh, for three months and other stuff, uh, individual coaching and stuff with me. I'm looking for about 10 to 20 people max that want to do that. These people in New York believe that there are plenty of people that could, that would do that. Uh, that most of them aren't in South Africa, but they are around. If you were to sell one of those, that's $1,000 for you, right? So that one sell would give you like a, a chunk of money, right? Make sense? So if you want to register as an affiliate, you just come in here. I don't even remember how to do it. How do I do it? Leslie, do you remember where I go to do this? <laughs> I forgot. Uh, hold on.
Okay, school affiliates. Here we go. Leave dashboard. Look at that, uh, school affiliates. Mm -hmm. Wow, I blanked out on how to do this right in the middle of showing you how to do it. No, it's not it. Ha, ah, where do I do this? Or do we have to tell Dion to do it for us? I'm pretty sure I just signed in myself. I, I sent Nicole a, an email to get a to get an affiliate link. You shouldn't have to though. Yeah, Michael, I agree with Anita there. For the big course that you're doing, the three thousand dollar one, where is that link going to be, or where can we get that link and that information? That's going to be direct, right? It's not going to be on here. So. Uh, that, that, like, if you have, I, I can give you information about what it contains. And then if the person is interested, you put them in touch with me and, and we close it together. Uh, Anita, there you go. So, so, yeah. So basically, um, I'm trying to find, I, I completely blanked out here how to do the affiliate. Leslie, please yeah. help me. Um, uh, Michael, I think what we need to do is let me get the link. Um, let me put a couple of screenshots together and I will send them off to Natalie and she can drop them into the group. Okay. So what we, what I do want to show you then is let me show you once you have it, what you do. This is critically important because a lot of people keep ending up going, Oh, I'm in the middle of action factory and it's not the, it's not the, you know, course. So if I log in with the right one, you'll see on the left here, it says affiliate dashboard, right? So once you signed up as an affiliate, you can put this affiliate dashboard, click on it, and you'll get this information. This is your code. It applies whatever course you do. It doesn't matter what course you actually do. So you could give them an affiliate link that takes them to Action Factory generally, or you could give them one that takes them straight to the course. And there's two ways to get that link. Either you can put the URL of the course in here, and then hit generate and it will give you the link, which really is just the course with this at the end of it. Or you can actually go to the course. And when you go to the course, Dennis, do you have a blackout? What's going on? Okay. So when you go to the course, it's going to give you, oh, that's not the right one either. I'm not doing very well with this one. Because I'm registered, it's not giving me the right URL. Hmm. So when you go to the course, it should be giving us a URL on the top that actually gives the name of the course, which should be Give me a second and do it the other way around. Okay. 
I've saved all my links here to make sure that it's not confusing. So the full course is at this link. This is the link right here. You go to that, it's going to take you straight to the course page. Right, that's the course page where they can register, they can read everything. Here, Leslie, here is all the, a lot of the, uh, what do you call them? Uh, testimonials. Okay, so if you go to, I go back to that dashboard. Um, I come down to the link generator here and I put the link of that exact course and say generate, it's going to give me my full affiliate link. Mm -hmm. And if I put the coaching course, it's going to give me a different affiliate link. It's going to just be the course link with this at the end. So you can even I'll make it yourself. Whatever course you do that this link on, that's your affiliate link. Now, do you guys know how to make a bit.ly address? No? All right. Let me show you how to do that. So you literally go to this address, bit.ly. Okay. It's going to take you straight to something that looks like this. I've already registered myself. When you go there, it's going to ask you to log in or sign in, right? So you're going to have to register yourself. It's free. And these are all the different things that I've made. So what you do is you come up right to this button that says create. And I can take this long URL, which is not the right one. So I can take the long URL that has my affiliate code on it. And I put it into this box where it says paste long URL. You see that? Okay, yeah. So you paste in the code of your web address, your affiliate link. It's going to then give you some random code, bit.ly with all this stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Now, you can come down here and change that to whatever you want. So I can say my innovation, or I can just say uh, Michael TIE affiliate. The chances that someone else in the world has got that as their link is very small. So I hit save and it'll tell me, okay, that link has been edited. So I can now give someone this or whatever I wanted to. If I put, I don't know, uh, Beyonce, it probably would say that link is taken, right? But this one is unusual enough that no one's used it. So this now, if I take this link, copy it there, it's going to give me that full link. So I take that link and put it in there. It takes me straight to my affiliate page. So the reason why we use BitLY obviously is that you can now create whatever name you want that makes it easy for people, right? So when we have the Innovativity Think Tanks, it's just bit.ly Innovativity Think Tanks. People can remember that, they can type it in. It's not weird and long, right? So my original, uh, my original code is this one here, which is quite long and no one's gonna type that in. Make sense? Yeah. So ideally you get the affiliate sorted out you get a bit.ly address for each of the three things, the one week, the full course, and the coaching course. Put it on a document like I have here. Write down the coupon code and everything. So you guys know how to do the coupon code. You've done that before. If someone comes in here, this also happens sometimes. They come in, they click on payment plan. And then they enroll. And then they put in the coupon code and they go, it doesn't work. 
because the coupon is only working for full payment, right? So if they're getting a free course, it makes no sense for them to put three payments and then get it for free. Make sense? So you have to put the coupon for each course. So if they tell you, like they tried the code and it doesn't work and you're sure it's the right code, tell them, ask them if they did that, right? So this is set up that they can make three payments of $100 each instead of paying all this at once, which could become useful as well when you're selling, right? You can tell someone, look, all you have to pay is $100. And you can pay the rest next month and next month. Does that all make sense, guys? So what, what we're going to provide, um, the people who are wanting to be in the in this uh, mastermind process, you, know, you get a code that's going to give you access to a free course that you can sell to anybody you want for any price you want. Obviously, not more than the real price. So that would make them kind of concerned, I suppose. Um, but, you know, so that $150 he is supposed to be covered by you selling this for $250 and, and pocketing $100, right? Giving you access to this whole process. Now what I'm gonna do, and right now this only concerns Anitha really, is that this month we're still not gonna charge anybody for the mastermind because everything's not in place. Um, the 400 rand thing is still, is still applicable because we're going to get that sorted out this week. But the mastermind fees, don't worry about it this month, but take action this month to sell at least one course that you get for free so that you can pay for it at the end of the month. And that's the idea here. If you just sell one a month, you've paid for being in this process. You've, you've contributed to the process financially so that we can also use that money to do things that empower the sales. Meanwhile, we're building up the reputation, the names, the relationships with the organization and with those Thursdays. And then finally, Anitha, do you want to talk about the podcast plan? Or are you still there? I am here. I'm just feeding. Sorry. Ah. <laughs> um, so, oh, the podcast plan at this point, um, we are going forward with, um, yeah, to put Michael on as many interviews as possible. Um, so, people have already established their own podcast, they've gone through all the hard work of getting um, everything organized, so we're going to basically use all of their energy, and we're just going to get Michael to go on as many chats and maybe we can start looking at maybe if possible maybe not just michael maybe we could get some of the coaches also to go on some interviews where you can then talk about your own experiences but then basically pitch like what we're doing and to get people involved as well most of the podcasts already are reaching out to people in you know creativity innovation so we're they've already established a lot of what we want to do so initially we're looking at doing that first Now, also, you don't even know this yet, Anitha. I've booked myself onto a LinkedIn Live run by a woman in LA who has 2 million TikTok followers. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah. I have to tell my life story. In how many hours? I have 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, yeah, so she's in LA, so I have to do it at 2 in the morning. But... Um, so you guys won't see the live, but you can watch it afterwards. Uh, so well, Carlos might see it. <laughs> uh, so when are you doing like that? A, uh, it's two in the morning. I have to book the date this month sometime. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, your creativity, like your juices should be perfect at that time if you have a little nap first and wake up. Yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> um, so yeah, so uh, 
So that's the plan, guys. I, I wanted to take you through getting you registered on here, but I screwed up. I guess we have to get it from Dion. I thought I don't remember doing that. I remember signing myself up. But anyways, those of you who don't have that, um, we need to take action then. Leslie, you'll handle that to make sure that everyone gets theirs. And then this week, we will be getting some of those materials done and to you. The final thing we have to do, and, and I'm personally very confused about, is figure out where do we gather. So the, the problem with the WhatsApp group is it's all great for us to talk to each other, but it's not great for us to talk to the rest of the world. And uh, number two, as we noticed last week or two days ago, I guess, or whatever it was, um, some people find other entertainment to have on the WhatsApp group, um, which offends some people and drives them away and stuff. So we've locked it off so it's only some people that can send messages on it. But we do have the Facebook group and we also are figuring out a group for the, uh, for the events on Thursdays that everybody in the, you know, who's coming could join. Um, I have a certain thought that the Facebook group we already started might be the best move because everything else we're doing is on LinkedIn and the Facebook group we've started is for coaches. We also have a group already existing on LinkedIn that could serve as a private group for us. But my, my thinking is that it's, unless it's stuff that has to be private, mostly it's better to have a group for coaches that we're pulling other coaches and who just disappeared now, Marina, that we're pulling other coaches into so that we can create that conversation. So if anybody has any opinion around that, we're trying to sort that out. Um, that's about it really. Uh, what concerns or, uh, you know, I think Leslie was pretty clear about her um, concerns and the things she wants to see happen. What concerns does anybody else have about, about the process and the situation we're dealing with? Anything? Sorry, Michael, it's not, I don't know whether it's a concern and it's similar to like what Lindsay and Leslie was saying is I think just, um, how, yeah, for us to, for everyone in the group to have an awareness and know what is going on. I mean, obviously like with me doing the podcast, no one else knew that until you asked me to share it now. Um, and how, yeah, how do we keep that stuff um, transparent, like that everyone knows what's going on so they can jump in if it's needed or if they have an idea on that so that it doesn't like go halfway down the line and then someone hears about it and thinks, oh, but I had an idea, but it would have been better if I told you two weeks ago about that. Right, well, that, the, ideal, the idea for that is to have a group, um, you know, it, it seems like we need two separate groups. One would be a public group where uh, people that aren't part of us, I'm not sure because on the one hand, I'd like to have a place that people could see what's happening. On the other hand, we need a private place as well that we can have conversations that aren't necessarily public, right? Yeah. And I think what is kind of like that, that, that WhatsApp group is a group that is everybody who's in the creativity coaching program or has been. And I think if we encourage all those people to get onto that Facebook group and communicate there, and share their cute clips and cute pictures and stuff, you know? Um, and and also, you know, interesting things like whoever was, I don't know if it was Dennis or somebody that shared that thing from Red Bull, you know, that, 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 that creativity test thing, that, you know, put that stuff in there so that that's the fun place for us to attract people. And then maybe on the LinkedIn group, the one that's already there, we restrict that to people in the mastermind, keep it small and tight and use it to put, you know, uh, communication to each other on. Would that make sense? Yeah, Leslie? Yeah. So Michael, I've got a problem with that. And the problem with that is that unless I happen to be on LinkedIn and or Facebook at the time that you guys post your stuff, it doesn't come up in my feed. I've got to go and look for it. So mm -hmm. maybe we need a hybrid and say, in the WhatsApp group, hey guys, we've just posted this, 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 go and look for it. 
because otherwise unless you put whatsapp in front of people they're not going to go and look for stuff so keep the whatsapp group to two or three or four administrators whatever you want but add everybody to that and then use that as a message to say we've posted sure. go and look at the post because otherwise both the linkedin group and the facebook group are not going to appear in your feed at the time that you happen to look at facebook Sure, it's it's a huge problem with those groups, uh, the way they work. Um, additionally, I would suggest that again we put processes in place to say, you know, twice a week, three times a week, check that group. You know, um, in addition to anything important, we we notify. That's that's great. Yeah. Um, the other thing, Michael, is that the Facebook groups. Just because you post something in a Facebook group does not mean it gets to the feed of everybody in that group. It does not. That's absolutely. the bigger problem. Yeah, it absolutely doesn't. Um, it doesn't. So you have to draw attention to the fact that there's a post to go look for. It. Yeah. Although, although um, I do get notified when things go into certain groups that I'm in. And I have to figure out why those groups. I was wondering why this group doesn't. Yeah, I don't know if there's a setting or if it's depending on like what kind of group it is, because there's a particular group that I'm in that I it's a private group. It's only for people that are members in this in this thing that I'm a member in, and I get notified every time someone posts there. Um, now, I think there's not many people going to look at it. No. I think it's a case of do you turn your notifications on or not? Yeah. You as the recipient, as the member of the group. It's not because I'm a member of like 50 groups and I don't get that for a lot of the groups. Oh, okay. Um, so I think it might be a setting in the group. Maybe. Maybe. Yes, I think it's a setting in the group. So. Turn notifications on maybe, something like that. This is the kind of question that gets raised, for example. Once we figure out what group that should be, what person would want to be in charge of that group? You see? Because every it time I think about it, I go, hey, I go haywire. There's too many things. <laughs> yeah. So, Michael, it would need to be persons. You need to put two or three people in charge of that group. Mm -hmm. Because if the one falls off the planet for the other one, they would then hold it, the group hostage. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had, I've had that situation in a separate group. Uh, one person who was the administrator got the zigs with everybody, and he literally shut down the group. That's nice. So that's why you want more than one person being administering the, sure. the action. My aim is just not to be one of those people. Me too. <laughs> but somebody does have to be. So um, that's the kind of thing that I want us to figure out in the next week, yeah. is what things people can commit to doing to support each other in this process so that nobody's shouldering too much. So, for example, the idea of getting video testimonials. So, Glennis has tried to do a lot with the website, but a lot of it fell down on her. And, you know, there's, if she can reach out knowing who to reach out to for what, you know, I don't think, I don't think it makes sense to her to just send a message to everybody. This is what I need help. Right. Um, so, I think those people who don't have, hello? Cheers, guys. I need to go. I'm training in a couple of minutes. I'll okay, see you guys. Ahead. Thank you for coming. But I, mean, I think, you know, I don't have much more to say. So um, a couple of people that were supposed to be here haven't come. There's about eight of us on the call that did come. Um, what I'd like to find out really is those people who aren't really clear about what you're going to do and how to participate, which I think on this call right now is Carlos, Stephanie, and Nikki, you know, have a thought. I mean, Stephanie's been doing those drawings, but have a thought. Um, and also we're gonna put together some kind of a, a list of things, try to get all these things in place, the website, the flyers, all of that stuff. You guys need to get your affiliate stuff in order. And then we need to make a plan going forward of how do we attack the world and get the information out to people so we can start selling. Cool. Someone say something.
That was me. I, I said, that's cool. <laughs> okay. Um, are, are you a, like saying about the um, different groups? When you said putting a list together, are you going to put a list together of kind of like positions that are vacant that people can fill? And no. then it's kind of made clear and maybe how many people we need in each position. Like that, like Leslie's saying, if it's on a group to have a few people, so. Yeah, I get what she's saying. It makes sense. Uh, but I don't, you know. Yeah. But I think that can be, I think ideally it would be one person with one or two other people supporting them. Yeah. You know, is usually better. I mean, look, as things go forward, there'll be more people. Even my friend in New York is helping with the videos. She suggested she might be able to help with Facebook. Cool. You know? So, you know, Instagram, all these things we're not even touching right now. So, I, yeah, I don't have much more to say right now, no, but I am. I got five more minutes. Huh? I got five more minutes for my next meeting. Okay. Well, Carlos, what do you want to, anything you want to say to be complete with this conversation, Carlos? No, I'm just going to look in the ADR, how they did it, how they spend and expand, and maybe again, give you some information. Fantastic. I mean, and basically, the idea, guys, is simply like reach out to your networks. You're going to have this flyer. It try, it's not saying a lot on it. Reach out to your networks and get people, uh, you know, to come. And if you, if you are not signed up yourself, get on that mailing list so that you get the information every week. Natalie, you still there? Yeah. She's gone to eat or something. Okay. Okay, so there is the next meeting is tomorrow, you told me, Michael. Uh, there's nothing tomorrow. No? Nope. Thursdays, every Thursday, every Thursday at one o'clock your time, Carlos, we're going to have, except if you have daylight savings time, we're going to have that uh, event. Yes, that's what you mentioned. Tomorrow that's Thursday, Thursday, not tomorrow. Thursday, sorry, Thursday, yes. Today is Tuesday, yes. And then every Tuesday for now, we'll have this, uh, unless we all decide to move it to a different time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I will see you on Thursday, and I'm leaving now. Okay, Carlos, thank you. Okay, bye. Bye, folks. So one of the things we can also do, guys, is uh, is the video testimonials we wanted to get. People have tended to do that in a way that's very awkward. I think it might be better for us to actually do them live. Let me give you an example. Anitha, you still feeding? Uh, no, hold on. <laughs> Let me just. <laughs> so Dennis, pin Anitha, pin Anitha to the screen, uh, you know, full, full screen. Um, Michael, will you stop sharing your screen? Oh, sure. Sorry about that. Where's Anitha now? Ah. Here I am. <laughs> <laughs> Just spinning your video. Okay, so you need to sit in a way that doesn't have a bright light shining right behind your head. Um, okay. Let me see. If I go this way. Yeah. Uh, if you go a little bit to the side with the bookcases there, it was much nicer. In the bathroom on the toilet, Anita. <laughs> I'm not. I'm in the playroom. I've got David down on the floor. That's okay. <laughs> I just need to move him around a bit, hold up. And then I can. Okay, then turn your camera to the side. Okay. Let me do this. This, this way. Uh, yeah. Oh. Can you tilt yourself so you've got, instead of a white background, you've got the other stuff behind you? What other stuff? That stuff. That stuff. The toys and okay. stuff. Okay. Oh gosh, no, this is the. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. That's interesting. Not so sure about that. Your head is uh, now weird. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but if you put that behind you, it'll be cool. Okay. Yeah, but now you got the ah, got the light right behind you again. Uh, oh. Guess you were, we're, we're coping with here. Okay, we're back to the white thing. <laughs> All right, so Anita, if, if 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 you look me straight in the eyes here, right? Okay. And I ask you to just tell me, what did you love about the creativity course? I love the way um, I went through. I went through it at my pace, and I I could see instant results almost day to day, and um, the effect it had on my family, on myself. Um, yeah, just. I think one of the things that popped into my mind when I was doing the actual video was uh, I feel like I have this Mary Poppins bag and that, that image keeps on coming into my mind now that I open this bag up and it just things come out that I can use and it's all from going through the course. So yeah, I think that's, that sums it up. Why, why should somebody else want to do this course? Because it's life changing and it's, it makes life easier, less stressful, um things make more sense and you can yeah feel like you're achieving more without putting in as much effort as before you see now that's that's plenty of stuff for us to use the video testimonial and it's completely really good right i mean relaxed straightforward clear yeah you told me I was too stiff in my video. <laughs> you were very stiff. <laughs> you were very stiff. You were very like. I've done my makeup and my hair you. and everything. <laughs> you looked great. You looked fantastic. It was just like, you know, but as you just know, it's exactly what we need. It's just relaxed, straightforward, honest, clear, simple. So, I mean, you just done the video testimony. Stephanie, cool. you want to do one quick? No? <laughs> no, I've got a headache, really. I'm not feeling well. Okay. Well, you're really hanging in here with us, though. Yes, I am, um, yeah. I want to say, this was the first time I actually saw you on screen now, because you've moved onto the front screen and I'm on my phone, but you don't look flacker. <laughs> no, I had a terrible day. Okay. Like, terrible. Like, really. Oh, honey. I'll speak to you after. Yes. All right. Well, I mean, we're only 90 minutes. We still got half an hour allocated, but if nobody's got anything, uh, we can, we can, we can take a, take an early one. Cool. Michael, thank you for taking us through the affiliation thing. I mean, I know I'm already on the affiliate, but now to do that URL thing, it's, yeah, it's good to be able to see it. Yeah, the bit, the bit, oh, I wanted to show actually one other thing I forgot. Okay. Uh, when we give you the PDF, go and look up PDF writer online, right? And you'll find a variety of them. So what you want to be able to do, for example, online PDF writer, or any of, you know, some of these are not free, but you want to make sure it's a free one. So in fact, say free. And then you can put in whatever you want on the PDF. So if you want to add your bit.ly address onto that space we'll give you, then, uh, you know, online PDF writer, you literally just upload the PDF to here, and then you can edit it. Okay. So if you don't have PDF software on your computer that lets you do that, this will do it for you and you only have to do it once you know really so so yeah anita you're welcome although i didn't really take you through it because i completely screwed it up but anyway <laughs> <laughs> that's what happens when you're live michael <laughs> what happens when you're live when you're live <laughs> when you go live yeah well uh, if you um, recorded it earlier and then put it on, you would have been able to know where you got stuck and stop the camera yeah. filming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. All right, so 
that's where we stand. Uh, I hope that's been helpful. I'm sorry, uh, Stephanie, you don't feel well. Nikki, you still with us? Hi, Nikki, Michael. Oh, yes, there. still with you guys. I'll sort out the affiliate uh, registration this evening and I'll just take some time out just to think about, um, yeah, where this fits in. Yeah, well, we can help you uh, figure that out as you go as well. Perfect. And uh, also just uh, to add to what Leslie said earlier on, you know, um, uh, if there are any tasks that are available and uh, assistance is required, depending on my availability, more than happy to assist wherever I can. 100%. Okay. Thanks, guys. Uh, we shall see you on Thursday, I hope, all of you.